Well, Martin Pastorovich is publishing director of magazines at Ringe Axel Springer in Slovakia, the organization that oversaw the new site where Jan Kuciak worked before he was killed. Well, Martin joins me now live from Bratislava. Good to speak to you. So the Prime Minister has stepped down, but people are still not happy. What do they want? Why are they still protesting? Good afternoon, Aicha, and thank you for having me and for your interest in Jan Kuciak's story. Well, as for your question, uh, there are still more demands uh, from the street and from the public in Slovakia. Today, uh, the crowd will be asking for resignation of the chief of the police, Tibor Gaspar. And the protests are primarily pegged to the killing of a young journalist who investigated corruption. How is the climate now in Slovakia for journalists? Well, uh, I have to admit uh, that the situation changed for the journalists uh, in Slovakia. Uh, first of all, it was a complete shock uh, when we learned uh, that the murder two murders in particular uh, happened, uh, because this is something unprecedental. We haven't witnessed this in Slovakia uh, before. So uh, at first, the uh, security measures uh, had to be tightened, not only uh, in Ringax or Springer, uh, but also in other uh, publishing houses in Slovakia. The second outcome is that, uh, of course, the journalists feel more threat or uh, feel a potential uh, of threat uh, or being threatened uh, at their work. And last but not least, uh, we can also witness uh, a huge amount uh, of uh, solidarity and unity among the media in Slovakia. And also the journalists now can feel that uh, their work is even more relevant than before because we are uh, part of the change uh, which is happening in the society and we may uh, play a pivotal role in this change. And we are expecting many on the streets. So how are the protests seen by the government? Uh, well, uh, the government also had to change its approach, uh, not only to running the states, but to the journalists uh, themselves. We had a situation before uh, when journalists, for example, couldn't ask certain questions or uh, there were only journalists uh, or selected journalists who were uh, allowed to ask uh, the officials, or there were meetings of the governments when the government members would leave uh, the building by a back entrance and no questions could be asked. Uh, this is also one of uh, uh, the, the initiative uh, which we are now uh, running for or protesting against or, or backing, uh, that the journalists uh, can have more democratical uh, um, environment to work in in Slovakia and uh, slowly government is giving in uh, and uh, is willing to change. Uh, uh, we have seen uh, the Prime Minister to step down, the, the Interior Minister to step down, as you mentioned. We had a reshufflement uh, of the government. Uh, the uh, officials uh, seem to be uh, more open uh, to the journalists uh, in recent times, but of course this is not the end. We still have a long way to go. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World, Martin Pastorovic.